that caused my heart to jump right into my fucking throat, I swear. Oh my god, all the nooses. Yeah, right? Hunger self, right? There's so many nooses. I hope I don't get hanged. I don't want to be hung. There's something shiny. Door just closed, huh? It is scary because it's trapping me in a room with a bunch of nooses. Whoa. These are child tamperants. Climbing. It looks like they're climbing on the walls. Child handprints. She had a baby in her stomach. Please tell me there's not some kind of crazy child demon around here. Because I cannot handle something like that. I really can't. I can't do it. That's scary as shit. I see a shiny. I'm pregnant. Are you shitting me? How many times did you do the test? Oh god. Not the reaction I was hoping wow. for. Wow. Yeah, that's douchebaggy. Like that. But I'm not ready. Duh. You're not ready. What about me? Doesn't I'm mean that it sorry. can be helped. Jesus I'll figure Christ. Something out. What do you mean you'll figure something out? Just let me handle this. I don't like this. Man, I hate guys like that. I mean, it's it's both of y'all's responsibility not to get pregnant. It's both of y'all's responsibility to deal with it. Not every girl wants to get pregnant either, so it's like, it's not just you that's gotta be stuck in this fucking predicament. I don't want to get pregnant. That's one of my biggest fears. Sounds stupid, but it's, it's, it's life-changing. I didn't see anything else I could do in there. Guess let's go through the creepy hallway. Oh, there's a door. Maybe this is what the key went to? Oh god. Oh my god. This is freaky shit. I, I kinda, it's crazy. What was that noise? They didn't give us a flashlight for this part of the game. That's extra creepy. Close behind me. I accept it. Fine, if you aren't going to close behind me, I'll close you behind me. This little baby hands. I feel safest right here. There's the little baby hands, you guys. There, there is a baby demon coming after me. I swear to God. That fucking cult guy probably brought it back to life and did some kind of demon sh fucking child. And it's going to be super creepy. Some more halls. Filled with blood. Filled to the brim with blood. She's calling out for me. So she doesn't hate me. She doesn't want me to go away. She wants me to come. Ooh. Oh. Did Subjorn... Did Sorn kill her and her baby? And then kill himself? He said, just let me handle it. And he didn't, wasn't ready, but it doesn't make sense he'd kill himself after that. Unless I guess the guilt got to him. Oh god. It's pulsing and alive. The walls, there's a hand in it. See the hand? What is this? Is this Silent Hill? This really feels like Silent Hill now. It hasn't given me a safe point, so I can't even bitch out. Like in Silent Hill 4, the room, my favorite Silent Hill. Whenever it comes out of the wall. There's hands in the walls. So is that what's leaving these handprints? Bet there's a baby demon. Looks like that long stretchy thing. Look, you can see little heads. See the heads? I do. Oh, oh god, the whole world is pulsing like my dick. Mm. This is weird, look, the hands are moving and then there's like faces. This is what I'm talking about, Araya is so confusing. It's, it's never, this game never has a clear cut solution, answer, or monster. It's like five 
Ten minutes ago, I wouldn't have even thought that the walls could be alive and that there would be hands sticking out of them. And now look. At the beginning of the game, you just think it's a hospital with a ghost. Look, the hand, the mouth, the face is moving. It looks like it's talking. They look like they're talking. That noise scared the shit out of me, I'm not gonna lie. Gonna have to walk through it. Ugh! Makes gross squishy noise. I'm trying to walk in the middle so that I don't get grabbed by the hands. I don't know how to get through- oh. The faces are moving. Oh, there's a- there's a- looks like there's a hole. Oh my god, you guys, this is really fucked up! What the hell is this place? They're all alive. The faces are alive. They're moving and talking and the hands are alive. Oh my god. And this might just not be the scary thing. Like, this stuff might not scare a lot of people. Maybe that's why they say Araya is not scary. But to me, this shit is creepy. This is the shit of nightmares that stays in my head forever and haunts me. It's the... It's like the predictable, obvious things. Like serial killers, slashers, and things that don't... Don't scare me like these do. What the f Ugh. There's a piece of glass in your head. I thought I could grab it. It's gonna give me some insight. So, they're fighting. What happened? I couldn't tell what happened. It happened in the parking lot. They were fighting. Was he- did he- f I swear that guy killed her because she had a baby or something. It's not gonna be cut and dry. This is not normal. This is weird locked. No. God, no. No. No, I don't like locked doors when I'm trapped with a bunch of gross... Please open door. Please just open. I don't like this at all. It's impossible to avoid the hands. So the door's really not going to open. Seriously? Marissa? No. Marissa? Yeah, I am. I'm Marissa. Oh! I have goosebumps all over my fucking arms. My heart is hammering in my chest. Do you just want to talk, girl? Are we just going to be friends? Is that what's going to happen? Please? Please oh, don't. Yeah. Damn it! She disappeared, but she opened the door. She really wants me to see this. At this point, it's like, you know, like, I'm already in it. I gotta just finish it. I gotta just see what the fuck Araya wants me to see. So, it's a chair with a noose and this is where she hung herself, I'm guessing. There's her diary. araya -ry. I went for an ultrasound with Sone today. I feel bad not Yeah, you should have told me, you lying hole. I know that she's still pissed off at Sone. I bet to keep them away from each other for now. How did that work out for you? I think Sorn probably killed you. But I can't go over there. There's no jump button in this game. Only in times of allowing me to jump. So I think I have to go back through here. Of course I do. Because why would they just, you know, not force me to go back through this disgusting room? I didn't close that. 
How could you do this to me? Hey, we can't raise it anyway. Why would you keep it? No! You bastard! I won't give you my baby! What? Fuck! Stop this shit! Sorn, what the, the fuck baby. is he doing? Have I'm you scared to look. Me all along? Stop! Oh my god, I said, poor stop. Raya. Uh, uh, Son, what did you fucking do to me? Aria? Marissa? Aria! Wait, I'm scared. I'm scared, Aria? okay? I'm trying not to look for on purpose. Alright, don't kill yourself! I'm sorry that Sorn did this to you, I'm so sorry. I want sorry. to go with you. You want to go with me? Okay. Where you want to go? You want to go get some Froyo? No. No, I don't think she wants Froyo. I think she's very uh, dead. I love you. I I love you too. I'm sorry they about this. All left me behind. I did it. No oh, no. no Chapter eight, Rama. I did not leave you behind, Raya. You should have. Let me in and I would have helped you, I'm sure. I'm fucking Marissa. I went through all this just to find you. I must love you. But we're Rama again, my favorite character of the game. I really love him. But it's really creepy starting out where we are because it feels like a child's ward, like a child section of the hospital. And since his daughter probably died, we don't know that for sure. But it's been hinted at that his daughter died and then the baby doll was following him around looking for a new father. The baby doll is still one of the scariest. The baby doll and the cadavers are still some of the scariest parts of the game to me. So, I don't know. It feels kind of nice, though. It looks more like a hospital than where, than where Marissa is, for sure. The walls don't have skin on them and heads and arms popping out. It's just a hospital again. The paint is kind of worn, but that's about it. Don't remember how Rama got here. Kind of all just blurs together after a while. <laughs> Fucking. Daddy. Why? Yeah, these little kids. These are the little kids that we've been following. Little girls. I assume his dead daughter. Or somebody pretending to be his dead daughter. He seems to follow them, which could just be shitty horror movie logic, like horror game logic where you just do stupid shit, or it could be he thinks that they're his daughters. Turn them flashlights on. The ghost toilets, y'all! Ghost toilets! You guys saw them! I'm in no hurry to follow around a evil little bitch. I don't know if she's evil or not. I don't even know if the baby doll is evil or not. Just wanted a dad, but I don't want to be a baby doll's dad. That's not gonna fucking happen. You're creepy and you don't deserve love. Okay, here's a drawing. Well, let me... That looks creepy already. Yeah, the children's center. That's what I said. It looks like a children's center. I'm curious, though. I, I'm very invested in the story. I want to know what the fuck happened with all of these characters. Okay, that's creepy. These are little fetuses, it looks like. With like, some kind of marking on their heads. Twins, possibly? It's weird. Kumin Thong. I've heard of that. I've heard that name before. Kumin Thong is the spirit of a fetus. Kumin Thong. Was that in Witcher 3? Possibly. I remember that really fucked up story in Witcher 3. With the spirit, with the fetus spirit. Kumin Thong is the spirit of a fetus that died before being born. Oh. Yeah, that was in Witcher 3. I don't know if that's what it was called. It seems familiar, but that definitely is what happened in, in Witcher 3. Died before being born. So, the fetus... His daughter, if she died, she died as a child. She didn't die as a fetus, but Araya's baby did die as a fetus, didn't she or he? If, if Araya was pregnant and she died, then the baby died as a fetus inside of her. 
First, the unborn fetus is surgically removed from the wound of its mother. <sighs> Sounds like something a crazy cult guy would do. Then the body of the child is taken to a cemetery for the conduction of the proper ceremonial ritual. Yeah, this did. 100% this happened in Witcher 3. That was one of the creepiest story arcs in Witcher 3. It was so weird. The body is roasted until dry and is then painted and covered in a golden leaf, which is why he is called Kumin Thong, Golden Little Boy. What's really creepy about all of this is that these are actual rituals, aren't they? People actually do this. I mean, probably not these days, I hope, but at some point they did. That was one of the creepiest story arcs in Witcher 3. It was just so demented. I really don't want to see this little fetus thing. And that explains why there was handprints crawling up the wall. Please, no creepy fetus creature crawling up walls and attacking me. I can't do it. That's so, so fucked up. I can't. That's not normal protocol in the children's hospital section of a hospital. As far as I know. What did they say? Did it say its name was Play? Play? Come and find me. I don't want to, you little bitch. How about you shut the fuck up and let me get out of this hospital? If I find you, I am going to gut you like a fish. Probably not. I'm going to run like a bitch. And probably jump or scream. That light's flickering. It's not a graphical error. That's just flickering lights. Can I open this? Wait, is that outside? No. It's not outside. Ooh. Ooh, that's creepy in there. I used to have these glowy stars on my ceiling. It's locked. That's gonna be important, though. Because that room's just too distinguished. Look at all the glowing stars. It's just too cool looking. Ooh. Oh, I was worried that was a running. I don't want to run. Any glowy shit? I don't see any glowy shit. I just see really old, boxy-ass computers. And clutter. They didn't clean this place up. Can you guess where I am? Why play? I don't want to play. I don't want to play. That's why your name's Play. I don't want to play hide and seek. I don't like hide and seek. It's alright. It's not my favorite game in the world, and it's definitely not my favorite game to play with a fucking ghost. Or fetus. Child thing. I don't know. I don't know what you are. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck a duck. Screw a kangaroo. I hope you're not in here. This is a very pink room. You're a little girl. If you are in here, the door will probably close behind me. This is really creepy. I don't like this. It's like my heart feels like it hurts right now. My chest is so tight because it's... <sighs> this little bitch is playing hide and seek with me and I just know when I find her, she's probably going to attack me or pop out at me. Neither of which I want. There's something shiny. Thought the door shut behind me. These chairs look comfortable as fuck. Damn, those are fluffy. I want to sit on one of those. Those are cool. So, a shirt? Yeah, that's, that's a shirt. Is this a hospital gown for a child? Please don't be a hospital gown for a child. A little girl child. But see, the fetus that was unborn wouldn't have come back as a little girl. This is a different entity, I feel like. Child's shirt. Yeah. That's what that looks like. I'd guess a girl's child's shirt because it's pink. But that would be very sexist. But it's probably a girl's child's shirt. I want these in my house. They look so soft. 
Little kids' places are just creepy in general. Actually, she might be back there. Oh. Whew. Do, 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 do. Anything in these cubbies that I need to look at? Some blocks. Normal child shit. Can I go through here? Oops, it's locked. She's back there, ain't she? There's something back there. Oh, hey, there's the stars on these ceilings, too. That's cool. I'll say, they did a really good job with the hospital, like the child section. It looks really cool and fun for children stuck in a hospital. I mean, hospitals are not fun for anyone, but it looks like a pretty fun little place. It's not the best hospital to keep your children, though, because, like, 20,000 people were brutally murdered here or killed themselves, and there's a cultist, and there's, like... Somebody carving fetuses out of bellies and burying them and bringing them back from the dead. But other than that, this looks like a nice little place for kids. Hi, glowy thing. I made a scary noise when I picked it up. A medical bill from the hospital. It says the recipient was charged 45,000 bots. I don't know what that is. And on the bottom signature that says Rama. See? His daughter was in this hospital. This is possibly his daughter's spirit. $45,000. I don't know what bot is because I don't, I'm not from that place, but that's a lot of fucking money. But hospital bills are fucking crazy. So you're my daughter? So, baby girl, don't you love me? I'm your dad. Why do you want to kill me? Well, technically, I don't know that she wants to kill me. But I have a pretty strong feeling she doesn't like me or she wants to kill me. Because she's a ghost. More creepy noises. The medical record of a little girl called Dundon Erichai. She is diagnosed with meningitis. Meningitis? Is meningitis... It's not lethal. But I don't know where they're from. I don't know what cures and stuff they have. Dendouin Arichai? I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's Rama's last name. Arichai? Or Dun... I don't know, but I have a feeling it's his, it's his daughter. Because... Hospital bills and the hints in the past. I'm hoping it's just the ghost of my daughter and she's not evil. Like, maybe we're, we're cool. I paid your bills, bitch! I don't actually know that I paid them. It said he signed them, so that means I probably did pay them. Maybe that's why I'm working at this crappy hospital. To pay off bills for my ungrateful little bitch of a child that's haunting me. Because I let her die or something. Dun dun dun! Paper! Oh no! Yeah, she's dead. The death certificate of a little girl called Dun Dun Arachai. The cause of death is listed as complications as a result of meningitis. So something bad went down. I wonder why Rama is reading these but not like mentioning anything. Like why isn't he speaking about this? If this is his daughter, why isn't he like showing remorse or sound sad or say anything? He obviously signed the other document. You'd think he would say something. Is this one open now? Oh, yeah. It's pulling open. It's it's opening right now. It's slowly moving. That looks like a door that's gonna shut right behind me and lock me in the middle of that. Hopefully not to get attacked. Man, my hands are so cold. It got so cold here all of a sudden. That door is gonna shut. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch! I can't move. Well, I kind of expected it, but Jesus Christ, what the fuck? I can't. 
Can't move. Are you my daughter? Are you my baby girl? Oh no. She brought me back to Silent Hill. I don't want to be in Silent Hill again. It's creepy. I hear the chain on my foot. She wasn't too bad. That didn't scare me too much. She did jump out at me, kind of. It did startle me, but that wasn't too bad. I was expecting it, but it just didn't deliver, like, full-on jump scare. It still was creepy as fuck. I didn't like the way her head was doing that weird shit where...